We're starting off today's slate of high school state semifinal matchups with two competitive local schools in Maury and Green Run. Now, this deep in the season, you've got to expect the unexpected. And even though this was a rematch of last season's Class 5 state semifinal won by the Commodores, injuries on both teams had a big impact today. Maury with the 7-0 lead in the first, but now Green Run's Damari Palmer will even at 7-all by the end of the first. Now at this point, Green Run quarterback Kevin White was injured and taken out of the game, and the same went for Maury's running back Peyton Jones, who's committed to Duke, but in the second, it's Melvin Lowe helping him out with a three-yard run to give the Commodores back the lead 14-7. Heading into uh, that was a score heading into the half, but now jumping to the fourth, Maury would extend its lead as Devontae Floyd is good for 44 yards to give the Commodores the 21-7 advantage. And since getting injured early, Peyton Jones remained out of the game, but Green Run's Kevin White returned, clearly didn't feel like himself. Later in the fourth, gets stripped. Following that, an interception as Kendall Daniel secures it in the end zone with eight minutes remaining. You just didn't see the same explosiveness in the air from White today with a right shoulder injury compromising him. But the Stallions will tack on another care of Deshaun Newby to close the gap 21-14, but that would be your final as Maury moves on looking to avenge a heartbreaking state championship loss last season. Next, we've got the Class 4 state semis as Warwick was on the road against unbeaten Dinwiddie. The Raiders having some troubles with these muddy conditions. Quarterback Eduardo Rios Jr. will keep the ball, gets sacked there. Warwick fell behind 7-0 early, but a chance to tie it. Uh, in the first quarter, fourth and goal, not going to happen. Stopped on the goal line. Now to the second quarter, the Raiders trying to move the ball, but Rios Jr. stuffed for another loss as they still trailed 7-zip at halftime. So the third quarter, same score, Raiders with a chance. Rios Jr. with the pass, it gets tipped. And Joshua Hubbard, he's close to it, but he can't come up with that pass. Warwick couldn't get anything going offensively. They wound up falling to Dinwiddie 28-0. They finished 12-2. Over to Class 3 at Darling Stadium today. Phoebus taking on Brentsville District. Tigers with the ball first. Caleb Anderson's pass is intercepted by Jaden Early on Brentsville's first possession of the game. Then on Phoebus's third play from scrimmage, how about a rushing touchdown? Care of Tyreon Taylor for 29 yards to give the Phantoms the early 7-0 lead. And they would add a field goal to make that lead 10-zip after the first quarter. Phoebus quarterback Nolan James got injured early in the second and was out for the remainder of the game. So Jaden Early's replacement him. He'll take the quarterback keeper as Phoebus extends their lead 17-0. Brentsville responds with one of their own to make it 17-7, but come on, you know better than to mess with the Phantoms, because now on the kickoff return, Keontae Gray is good for 80 yards to the house. That made it 24-7. And guys, here, I'll save you from singing Nicki Minaj again, but Look at this guy. Jordan Bass adds one of his own when Early finds him 50 yards downfield. Those final two touchdowns happened within uh, under five minutes of the first half. The Phantoms led 31-7 at the break and went on to take it for a final of 58-14. In Class 6, Western Branch traveled to play Freedom of Woodbridge, who have set a VHSL record with now 904 points this season. Freedom up 14-0 in the first until this connection between Taquan Trotman and UNC commit Paul Billups Jr. That closed the gap 14-7, but that would be as close as they'd get. They trailed 49-7 at the break. They tack on one more off Billups' kickoff return to start the third, but they fall for a final of 69-14. And finally in Class 2, Pocosin fell to Central 37-10.